here it is the aqua clear 70 what's up guys it's Hugh with prolific breed I wanted to take some time to share with you guys what I'm using as filters for the 240 gallon rack that I'm building it consists of 640 breeders on a metal rack it's in my garage um, last week we did the the insulation the tank placement and painting the backgrounds and the the bottoms this week um, for this weekend I, I want to fill up the tanks with water and get everything running so for the past couple of months I've been gathering all of these filters from Fluvo I decided to run with AquaClear 70s and I was looking for deals and I got two of them from Petco they had a 20 or 30 percent off coupon so I got two from them and I got two others from eBay <laughs> can't even fit it into the screen but I got two others from eBay from individual sellers they were listing listing them up for around $30 $34 so I picked it up so I want to unbox and show you guys what everything looks like inside so let's get at it I have four of these and I want to do another video for the two others making it um, six total for the other two I went with um, aqua clear 110s for the flower horns but let me get this box open here for you guys. I love Aqua Clears. I probably have like over 10 of them. Most of them are Aqua Clear 50s. And I have two Aqua Clear 110s. They're running on the 100 gallon tanks with the MOBA front, to the Katumba frontosas and the Koi Grow Out. But. Here it is, the Aqua Clear 70. So on the side right here, you see what it's rated for. Aqua Clear 70 is rated for 40 to 70 gallons. Um, it runs 300 gallons per hour. So this filter is going on a 40 breeder. So this is perfect for that tank. Let's see, I wanna take everything out and I want to seed all of the sponge filters um, this weekend but first of all I wanted to check and make sure um, nothing's cracked or anything like that it's been a while so inside the box you see me um, you get this box it contains the sponge filter sponge filter carbon filter and the bio media and pull it out everything is contained inside the filter and you get instructions now I have the aqua I have the aqua clear fit the video up and it's, if I recall, it's like seven watts. I wanna check how many watts this, this filter is rated for. This propeller is also um, rated at seven watts. So one of the reasons why I like um, AquaClears is that it takes very little power to run it and it moves a lot of water. So in the box, it's saying it's gonna move 300 gallons per hour and the tank is only 70, no, the tank's only 40 gallons. So it's, it's turning over the entire tank volume. How many times here? Like six times within an hour. That is one of the reasons why I like the AquaClear um, power filters is 
the sheer power and total volume of water that it's moving it's just moving a lot of water and the the bottoms of the tanks are always crystal clear because it's so powerful and how it sucks up all of the detritus so you might ask me Hugh why don't you just run sponge filters why run all the power filters my answer to that is um, once upon a time I had these um, albino red guppies um, growing out and I never had luck with um, sponge filters until I got on board with AquaClears. With the AquaClear combined with um, Pond Matrix, I have like tons of success um, breeding this um, very difficult strain. So after witnessing that, I just converted to, to um, AquaClear or I just became a fan of AquaClears. With sponge filters, uh, I gotta reach in there and um, pull out the sponge and squeeze it out and all of that. I hate reaching into the aquariums when I'm breeding anything, breeding guppies, placos, shrimp. I hate reaching in and disturbing whatever's inside. I rather have everything get collected in the aqua clear, and all I have to do is go to the back and reach in there and pull this caddy out and service it that way without reaching in and having my entire arm in there disturbing all of its contents so here's the entire filter it's the lid this is the caddy the the housings in back it's seven watts and what you do is you get everything out. Here's this the sponge filter. I usually put this on the bottom, but let's read the instructions real quick. This is how um, they recommend the the filter placement. So they have the sponge filter on bottom, the carbon in the middle, and the bio rings on top so let's do it for demonstration purposes but I don't I don't usually run carbon so we're just gonna save it but let me put this on the sponge on bottom carbon you should rinse it out before placing it on top and this is the bio media you're gonna place it into this um, nylon bag it's really dusty and um, messy as well so I recommend um, rinsing the bio media out too because it's like dust and sand particles. You don't want to get that into your um, propeller. So this is what they recommend. Get it in. It's going to be a tight fit. Now you have a lot of extra space on top. Um, so what I usually do is get 100% um, polyester batting. And then I use that for um, flossing. I have another video about flossing. I'll leave it up on the right hand corner so you guys could see. When you guys get your aqua clears, you have this piece right here. Don't throw it away or don't lose it because it goes on the bottom of your aqua clear. What this does is um, it once it's hanging on the back of your your aquarium, 
this um, tilts it so the water flows back into your your aquarium versus having it flat flat or horizontal with a chance of the water kind of overflowing out through the pack and you don't want that happening the tubes this kind of u-tube and there's two extenders you can kind of stack it if you want it going down further it goes down like this so it's pretty much the gist of the aqua clear 70 i need to unbox the other three and i i need to prep the the sponges for tomorrow so in a fast track what's up guys instead of doing an unboxing on all four of the aqua clear 70s i just off camera took out the the filter packages and took out the sponges to have them ready for tomorrow when i jump start all four or six tanks so we could get the the fish in the tanks as soon as possible without waiting for it to cycle i'll be sure to share my process in jump starting all six tanks so stay tuned for that uh, with the aqua clear 70s and aqua clear 110s i've been noticing that um the prices are going down the past couple of weeks so i've been watching the aqua clear 110s they have been listed on amazon for 78 sometimes even 80 dollars but the other day I, I checked it out and it was like 69 dollars which is a really good value um, for the aqua clear 70s they're around upper 30s to 40 dollars which is also a good value um I'm deciding to go with the Aqua Clear 70s because it's just because of the the value it provides and I like it better than um, sponge filters. That's a personal preference. I just like how much water it moves and how much detritus it picks up and the ease of cleaning the, the hang on the back filter um, versus grabbing the sponge and squeezing it out and siphoning detritus and things like that I uh, just with me I just prefer to um, not put my hands in the tanks when breeding fishes or plecos or anything like that but let me know in the comments below what you guys think and be sure to hit the subscribe button hit the no notification bell I'll be sure to update you guys with more videos in the coming days with the 240 gallon rack until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one.